welcome to our ninth lecture and this lecture is based on differential protection differential protection is best technique in protection as we know as we have ended up in last lecture that we are using differential protection for protection of feeders okay for dead zone okay so this protection is the best technique in protection this type of protection is unit protection in unit protection zone is defined inside the two cities the relay will operate outside that the relay is will not operate this is unit protection in this type of protection the electrical contents entering and leaving the protected zone or areas are compared by current transformer if net different equals zero it means no fault exists this system is operating in either of the two following principle current balance principle voltage balance principle in current balance principle in current balance principle if difference of current is zero the relay will not operate if we are getting certain value of current then the relay will operate in voltage balance principle we are getting we are checking voltage of the um, to say city secondary if voltage are voltages are equal the relay will not operate if voltages are not equal then definitely there is certain potential difference and this will cause current current to flow through the relay and the relay will operate now we'll see one by one first we'll see current balance principle okay before that differential protection is applicable to the following parts of the system generators transformer motors buses lines and feeders reactors and capacitors and there are two basic types of differential protection based on the current balance principle and based on voltage balance principle so it is current balance differential protection voltage balance differential protection in current balance principle this current balance uh, differential protection operates on circulating current principle what is circulating current principle or we will we'll see in the next slide current balance differential protection at a normal condition and for external fault at f ct1 and ct2 circulate current in their secondary that is is1 and is2 in normal condition if we are if ct1 and ct2 is circulating current through the ct you know, ct secondaries then definitely normal condition this this currents are equal and that's why there is no current flowing through the relay and the relay will not operate now we'll see it in normal condition in normal condition whatever current flowing through ct1 is flowing through protected equipment same current is flowing through ct2 okay now using this dot convention using this dot convention ip1 is flowing through ct1 this ip2 is flowing through ct this ip1 is equal to ip2 now using this dot convention current is entering so it will be leaving from the ct secondary is is1 it will go that this is1 okay this is1 now here is1 is equal to is2 okay it will go this is1 we go like this okay now here current is leaving current is leaving at this end current is leaving so here it is entering so from this side it must be leaving so this ip1 is equal to ip2 means is2 is flowing through this ct secondary in this same current is flowing through this ct1 so is1 is equal to is2 and this is2 is equal to is1 now in this case in case of in case of normal condition normal condition current is flowing like this so current is not flowing through the relay this delta i is equal to 0 the relay will not operate consider ideal current transformer performance here we are considering ideal current transformer per performance that means ct1 we are having two identical cities ct1 is equal to ct or c we are having uh, two identical cities ideal current transformer we are having both cities are identical cities ip1 is equal to ip2 therefore is1 is equal to is2 
therefore delta is equal to 0 magnitude of i is equal to 0 is1 is equal to is2 so no current is flowing through this relay this i uh, mod of i is equal to 0 as it is 0 the relay will not operate this is for normal condition in external fault same condition if you consider fault at f fault at f this is our protected equipment fault outside this ct2 so definitely if fault is outside this ct2 this is external fault our protected zone is this much this is outside as this fault is outside so this it the current in the ct2 is not reversed it is not changed okay so this relay will not operate this relay will not operate so for external fault and in case of normal condition the relay will not operation that's why it is called as unit type of protection now we'll see working principle operate operation during internal fault condition if fault occurs at point f at point f mean within the protected zone or inside the protected equipment i shown in figure next in next slide we'll see that figure okay and the fault is fed from both side fault is fed from both side if suppose that protected equipment this protected equipment is feeder we are having ring main system so this fault get fed from both sides and fault is fed from both side then current through ct2 will be reversed current through ct2 will be reversed therefore a current delta i is equal to is1 plus is2 will flow in the operating winding of the relay this will cause relay to trip the circuit breaker connected to the faulty system hence relay trips when is1 plus is2 is greater than equal to i this mod of i is pick up value of current this form of protection is known as merge price protection now we will see operation during internal fault condition operation during internal fault condition if fault occurs at point f within the protected zone here we have considered fault in protected zone this is our protected zone we have considered fault inside the zone if fault inside the zone means this fault get fed from get feed from this side from left hand side as well as from right hand side so from right hand side this current through ct2 is reversed then current through ct2 will be reversed so current through ct2 is reversed as current through ct2 is reversed definitely this will change the, the position of this is2 okay now in case of ct1 in case of ct1 it will remain as earlier the current is entering to the ct so according to dot convention it must be living at from this side so it is living like this now what about this ct according to dot convention ct2 here it is entering current is entering so at this point it must be leaving so it is leaving so this is is1 this is1 will go like this and is2 is go like this so through current measurement relay we are getting is1 plus is2 so delta I is equal to is1 plus is2 and this value is definitely greater than zero the relay will operate you got it consider i again considering ideal current transformer performance if fault current is ip1 plus ip2 ip1 plus ip2 therefore is1 is not equal to this is1 is not equal to is2 and magnitude of i greater than the zero current measuring relay operates this is about internal fault condition relay may operate if fault is feed fault in feed is from one direction as shown okay now if suppose this unit protection or this differential protection we are using for radial feeder for protection of transformer that uh, protection of transformers then definitely feed is from one side we are having source at this end 
वी आर हैविंग सोर्स एट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी आर कंसिडरिंग सोर्स एट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ओनली सिंगल एंड फीड सिस्टम और इन केस ऑफ रेडियल फीडर देन दिस फॉल्ट इन दी प्रोटेक्टेड इक्विपमेंट और फॉल्ट इन साइड द जोन देन दिस आई पी वन इज फ्लोइंग लाइक दिस वाई आई पी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई पी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज फॉल्ट इज नॉट गेटिंग फीड फ्रॉम अदर साइड सो इन केस ऑफ सी टी वन यूज इन डॉट कन्वेंशन आई एस वन एंड दिस सेम आई एस वन इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस आई दिस करंट मेजरमेंट रिले सो डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू आई एस वन आई एस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई पी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो आई एस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो एज दिस डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू आई एस वन द रिले विल दिस डेफिनेटली वैल्यू इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो द रिले विल ऑपरेट आई एफ इज इक्वल टू आई पी वन एंड आई पी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो नो फॉल्ट करंट इन फीड फ्रॉम वन साइड आई एस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो देर फोर डेल्टा आई देर फोर डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू आई एस वन एंड विच इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो मैग्नेट ऑफ आई ग्रेटर दैन द जीरो द स्री लेवल ऑपरेट दिस इज अबाउट अवर करंट बैलेंस डिफरेंशियल प्रोटेक्शन नाउ विल सी वोल्टेज बैलेंस डिफरेंशियल प्रोटेक्शन वोल्टेज बैलेंस मोस्ट प्राइस सिस्टम शोन इन फिगर फोर इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर फीडर प्रोटेक्शन और इक्विपमेंट प्रोटेक्शन सी टी वन एंड सी टी टू सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग्स आर कनेक्टेड इन द पोजिशन सो दैट देर इज नो करंट फ्लो इन द रिले ऑपरेटिंग कॉइट वी एस वन इज इक्वल टू वी एस टू द रिले विल वेन वी एस वन इज इक्वल टू वी एस टू रिले विल नॉट ऑपरेट ना विल सी इन केस ऑफ ना हियर यू कैन सी इन वोल्टेज बैलेंस प्रिंसिपल रिलेज आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज रिले इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज वाइल इन करंट बैलेंस प्रिंसिपल रिले इज कनेक्टेड इन पैरल Now, as a relay is connected in series, we are measuring the voltage. We are measuring the voltage, and that we are bal that balance. If if two voltages are equal, definitely V S one is equal to V S two. So there is no potential difference, no current flowing through this current measurement relay. The relay will not operate. In case of normal condition and in case of external fault, same. In case of external fault, in case of normal condition. IS one is equal to IS mm, VS one is equal to VS two, not IS one. Because of this IS one, there is a certain potential difference that is called as VS one. This VS one is equal to VS two in case of normal condition and in case of external fault condition. If these two potentials are equal, if these two potentials are equal, then VS one is equal to VS two. No current is flowing through the current measurement relay i have shown the direction upward in case of normal condition in case of external fault condition we are having certain potential we are having certain potential difference and that two potential difference are in the same direction as well as equal so no current flowing through the current measurement relay ip1 is equal to ip2 vs1 is equal to vs2 and is1 is equal to is2 is equal to this is1 is equal to is2 vs1 is equal to vs2 because of this because of this vs1 is equal to vs2 is1 is equal to is2 and it is equal to zero so the magnitude of current is equal to zero current measurement relay does not operate during internal fault vs1 is not equal to vs2 vs1 minus vs2 is not equal to zero That's why V S one minus V S two is not equal to zero. This will drive current through the operating coil of the relay, and the relay operates. This is shown in Figure five. Look here, we are considering fault in the protected equipment about C T one. I P one is about C T. I P one is flowing like this. So because of this, there is there is a voltage. This causes this causes voltage V S one. now current in the ct2 is reverse as current in the ct2 is reverse so that's why this vs2 is reversed so we are getting some difference vs1 minus vs2 and because of this vs1 minus vs2 we are getting certain value of current and that current flows to this relay as this relay is connected in series the relay will operate will give tripping signal to the circuit breaker 
Vs1 is not equal to Vs2. Therefore, magnitude of chi is not equal to 0. Current measurement relay operates in case of internal fault. Okay. You got it. Now, here you can see Vs1 I have shown as upper side while Vs2 from top to bottom. Okay. So, here it is as current in CT2 is reverse. So, this direction is reverse. This direction of Vs2 is reverse and because of these two difference the relay will operate this is about your voltage balance principle characteristics of differential protection definitely it is having simple concept what is simple concept major current entering and exiting the zone of the protection if current are not equal fault is present if current are not equal fault is present if current is if currents are equal then there is no fault condition this provides high selectivity high sensitivity and because of this this relay is having relatively high speed than the overcurrent protection you got it thank you very much